Hey guys, want to make a real quick video for you today on a pair of boots I've been running for the past 10 months or so. Uh, it's uh, Thoroughgoods 814-3800. It's their eight inch tall mock toe uh, waterproof uh, series work boot. It's got the wedge sole and uh, no safety toe on these guys. Um, I do lawn and landscaping work up in Northern Florida. So these boots see a, a, a range of conditions, basically just muddy, wet grass, walking on concrete, roughed out concrete from sidewalks, curbing, driveway, that kind of stuff. So day in and day out for a, a better part of, yeah, nine, 10 months, these boots see everything every day and they haven't let me down one bit, not one bit at all. Bring it in here. So I don't know what their thickness of their leather is or any of the specs really on that. Um, I don't know what their waterproofing is. It doesn't say Gore-Tex or anything, but the waterproofing has been top notch. Haven't had my feet get wet. And I, I, like I said, if it rains, we keep going, walking through wet gutters and all that kind of stuff. So they've been absolutely soaked to the bone and um, no issues with water seepage or seams failing or anything like that. And obviously, you know, you go past this point on the boot right there, well, that's going to be a weak point and water's going to get in that way. But anything under that, no issues whatsoever. Um, as far as like overheating and your feet getting sweaty or anything like that, it's an eight inch tall, dark colored work boot. The sun's banging on it for hours and hours and hours. Your feet are going to get hot. They've never gotten hot enough to where I was like, my God, my feet are roasting to death. I don't get overly sweaty. It's not like I'm pulling out dripping socks of these things or anything like that. So waterproofing, whatever the liner is, let your feet breathe enough. They do get warm. I'm not going to say that your feet aren't going to get warm in a, in a work boot when you work outside all day. It's just, they don't have air conditioning built into them, but your feet aren't dripping wet with sweat or anything like that. At least that's been my experience. So the liner and all that, fantastic. No issues with it ripping or tearing. I'll try to get in there so you guys can see it. But yeah, no, nothing, nothing out of place at all. Uh, let me think of anything else. Yeah, the leather's held up just amazing. Like I said, this left boot is, takes a brunt, the brunt of everything with all weed eater coming back and just constantly throwing rocks and trash and everything else. So that's the left boot. You can see it's kind of, get a little shot in there. There we go. And then the right boot nearly isn't as bad. So, man, that thing's still just as pretty as can be. And, guys, I do not take care of these at all. I come home, sit in my chair in the garage, brush them off with a stiff bristle brush to get 90% of the crap off of them, take them off, and that's where they sit for the next day. If I come home and they're just wet as all get out, they get put right back on the next day. They haven't ever been washed, no soaps, no oils, no, you know, conditioners, nothing like that at all. So if you take the least bit of care of your boots, you probably have the same or better results than what I've had with these. So like I said, the, the soles have been fantastic on them. Haven't had, there's not much wear or tread. And to show you how much I like these guys, I re-upped. So these are getting ready to go out of service and these new ones are getting ready to come in. So the, the Max Wear Wedge sole, not a whole bunch of tread on there, but man, whatever they're doing, whatever, rubber this is i haven't had any issues with slippage or me feeling like i'm going to be you know skating around especially on the surfaces i walk on um in and out of that that uh that trailer with that wet plywood and muddy and grass everywhere i've never had any issue with me thinking oh my god my, my footing's going to go out from underneath me and you know n none of that at all but man i tell you what fresh from the factory Oh man, they look fantastic. They smell amazing. They fit just as good as these. I was happy when I tried them on. I was like, oh my God. So real happy to get these in service, but they all come out and everybody's boot brand new looks. Oh yeah, it looks great. Nobody cares about that. I mean, yeah, if the stitching's all blown out and it looks like hell from day one, well, it's probably going to kind of stand a reason down the road. It's not going to be all that great. But anyway, these guys have been through it. Just wanted to show you hopefully what you can expect if you're in the market for a set of boots. Like I said, no stitching, out of place. The only thing I've got happening with these, and it's on this boot here, so I'm starting to get some separation right there at the toe. It's about a, it's about a quarter of an inch, I would say, down in there. I've had this happen on boots in the past, and as soon as it starts to just, just starts to open up, man, that seems like that's a weak point, and with the water and dirt and crap getting in there, it just 
when this starts to separate, it starts to separate in a hurry. Haven't had this happen on these. It has separated, but it has it kind of separated and then got to here. And now, sure, if I keep running these and running them, you know, that, that might be something where the whole sole starts to flop around. I don't know. But I, we are pretty much at the end of the lifespan of these boots, for me anyway. Like I said, you could keep running them. I'm sure they probably could go another few months. Um, but I was needing to get a new pair here, do a review on these, and for me, they were starting to get, like I said, when they start getting down to where they're going to start, you know, and these, even just standing in the, in the new ones with a flat sole versus these guys with the sole that I've, I've turned them into looking all kind of, you know, rocker here. So you start, I walk different in these than those. So this, the, the new ones felt, I was like, oh man, I got a flat, flat footbed to start over again. So that, that was nice. So, but anyway, inside of the boot, the liner, no problems, no issues there. The soles have been fantastic. No issues other than just that one little little bit of a split right there. Seams have all held up, no leaks, no problems. Um, the brass hooks on them, been fantastic. Occasionally I'll bend one when I'm walking around in and out of the trailer, I'll bump up against something and it'll bend. I get home, try to take the boot off and I'm, I notice I pinched the lace, just get a screwdriver, knife, whatever, and kind of pry it open. No big deal, not the end of the world. Um, and that's happened maybe, maybe a half a dozen times. Uh, so nothing to be concerned about. They're not so, they're not so thin and wimpy that you can, you know, you can't just, you know, bend them with your hand or anything like that. So uh, I wouldn't be concerned about that. Uh, one thing, little stupid things I like about them, the, the pull on the back here is pretty much even with the top. So you don't have your pants. I've had boots where this thing is sticking up like a couple inches. Your pants stick, you know, don't fall past the boot. And now you got, you know, just an exposed boot. And, but the leather up here on the top is just, just as soft and as supple, more so than day one but just fantastic, the feel of it. And then obviously down here, it just gets the hell beat out of it from, you know, it's just exposure to whatever work conditions you're, you're putting them through. So any questions or comments, let me know. I'll try to get back to you. I mean, I don't have a million subscribers or anything like that. So if you, if I missed anything or if I shot past anything, uh, feel free to let me know. The only other thing that I do in all my boots is I run just a longer lace in them. Um, that's just personal preference. That way I can pull them up, get them tight and double them up and have plenty of lace to mess with. Um, the ones that come from Thoroughgood are just your, just standard fare boot lace. Um, I've never, I never run them. They're, they're just too short for me. So they're, they're, they're probably fine. I just don't do it. Um, I run what they call an iron lace, uh, from Amazon and I run them in all my boots. I tried them years ago and, and for just an extra 10 or $15, I haven't had any problems with them. Um, so that's what I just run in, in the boot. So any questions or comments, anything you guys need me to answer outside of what I already tried to cover in this video, please just let me know down in the comments and, um, we'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good one.